Jack said, proudly, 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 I, I can, can give, give you more than your get at market. The man said, I get give you some magic beans for that cow. For that cow. Jack thought that, that sounded sound like a very good deal. deal. He, he traded, traded the cow for the beans. Good. So what do you think? Do you think that's a very good deal or not? Do you think you should do it? Tell me why. Because the, they don't want the cow. They don't want it. And still feed him something, then feed them something. But they probably don't. Okay, so do you think you should switch the cow for the beans? Yes. You do? Okay, so how do you think for this... Them, for them, where they can eat, but he might give the cow some food. Okay, so do you think, how's his mom going to feel when he comes back? Sad. Why? Because he gave the cow away. That's why he's looking sad. Okay, because you looked at the picture clues. All right, let's go on. You ready? Here we go. When Jack, when Jack got home, his mother was not happy about what he had done. How, how couldn't you trade our cow for these beans? She asked, now we shall surely start with that she threw the beans out the window. Since Jack brought home no money, no money to buy food, but both he and his mother went to bed without supper. Without what? Without. You're right, close. So, so, I always think of this word, spa. supper. Supper. You know why? Because two peas, that helps you remember. When I go to dinner, I like to have doubles. So I think of two peas goes in supper. All right, so here we go. Oh, this is a big page. Are you ready? So let's look here. Let's predict before we start. He's sleeping. So what do you predict is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen next? Wait, look. go ahead, tell me. He's going to ask her for some food. Okay. Probably. You think and so? And say that he want a cow and get a cow back and give him the beans back. Or when the man sleep, he will get the um, cow. Okay, but in the text, do you remember here? With that said, she threw the beans out the window. So because she threw the beans out the window, is he going to have the beans to go talk to her with? So we got to get, so let's think of how, what else do you think could happen? Okay, let's see. Ready? The, the next, next morning, morning, Jack saw a tall shadow. shadow by you figure, you go faster? the by the window. He, he peeked outside. I, outside, a, a huge, huge bean stock stood, stood where his, he, mother his mother had, had thrown, thrown the beans. The bean stock. The bean stock. Was, was so, so tall, tall that, that it, it went, went up, up into, into the clouds. clouds. Those, the, these, uh, those were magic, magic beans, beans, cried Jack. Jack. No wonder. No wonder. There, there is, is a huge bean stock. Jack wanted want to see. Good job, keep going. Where the big stock went. So he crawled. What's that word? Climbed. Uh huh. Bed up and up at the very top. He came to a road that that not led, led to a great swamp. Castle, 
Jack didn't know that a giant lived there. He knocked at the door. A huge woman answered and Jack asked for something to eat. Oh, so. Let's see what happens. You ready? Go ahead. The woman was kind. She gave Jack some food. You must be careful, she warned. My husband is a giant. If he finds you, he will gobble you up. You must hurry and eat before he comes out. Wait, stop here. Here's the word comes. Is he home yet? No. No. So how did you know that? What suffix here told you he's not home? Remember we talked about suffixes? Oh, good. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. Go ahead. Just as Jack was about to finish the last crumb of bread, he felt the ground shake quickly hide in the oven, said the woman. Jack hopped into the oven. The terrible giant stomped into the room and whirled. Fee, fa, fum, fum. I smell the blood of an English man. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make him, I mean, to make him dead. Bruh. Bread. bread. Make my bread. See, she's making bread. So, what do you think he does? I don't see him in the oven. I don't see him in the oven either because you know what? He's hiding. Okay, so let's stop here for a second. We're going to complete this in a little bit. Um, let's look at these words again. So, let's say these words one more time to me. Okay, let's take our suffixes out. Okay, what words are these? You can see. I'm awfully tired. What's this word? Live. Womp. Live. Cry. Giant, wake, treasure. Excellent. So what I'd like for you to do now, please, is put your name on this. So here's our other words. Well, here's our base words right here. These are the words that we're going to use a suffix to. So I would like for you to please take one of these words, and I want you to show me the, a suffix to go with it to cause it to be past tense. Past tense. That means it happened in the past. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what would you add it to? Mm -hmm. Very excellent. Fantastic. So let's. What, what's your base word? What, what is? No, that's your suffix, right? Cry. Cry. Very good. Uh huh. And then guess what? I gotta tell you this rule. You might not have heard this rule. You drop the Y, you add the I. So when you spell it, let's spell it together. C mm -hmm. R. Drop the Y, no Y. Then you add I. the I. And then what are you gonna do with the suffix? Put the ED. Nope, right there. You can add it because it's one word now. That word is cried. So now use it in a sentence for me, please. I cried to my mom. Okay, write it down. Excellent. I Now look at your sentence. Now do you have all the pieces of a sentence, all parts of a sentence? A capital letter? Oh. Yep, you got a capital letter in the beginning of a sentence. Do you have a period? You sure do. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so you did, I would like for you to do one that's happening right now. What suffix would you use that's happening now? Mm -hmm, very good, so what would you do? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to change.
change anything there. There's no rule. Good job. And then you use it in a sentence. Fantastic. See what you did? You added one of your other vocabulary words in from the story. That's awesome. We'll go add a period at the end. Fantastic. So we're going to jump down. So obviously you know how to do this. Let's look at the point of view. Remember, I asked you that's going to be a new vocabulary word as part of your, your study things. Who is telling the story? So far, so far we've only gotten this far, but up to this point, who is telling our story? So who is, once upon a time? So. Jack. But it says a young boy named Jack. If you were in this story, Jamani, and I said a young boy, I mean a young girl named Jamani, would you be telling the story? No. No? So who do you think's telling it? You think someone, have you heard of a narrator before? Okay, a narrator is someone outside of the story that tells the story. Like you go to a movie and you go home and you tell your mom or your aunt about the story, or your grandma, and you say this is what happened at the movie. You're telling the story. You are the narrator, right? Were you in that movie? No, but you're, you're repeating. You're telling the story about what happened, so you become the narrator, okay? So, so far, who is telling the story? We know it can't be Jack because Jack's name's in the story, and it says the family. Let's see if it could be the mom. Let's kind of skim. Him. Him? Well, he's using quotation marks, but he's not telling the story. So Jack's not, so it's a narrator. So let's put the narrator here. And we'll talk more about this later. This is all new. N-A-R-R-A-T-O-R. -R -R. How do you know? How do you know so far that it's, it's, it's a narrator and not Jack? How do you know somebody else is telling the story? Do you know? How about, let's look at our cards. Okay, that's one reason, but let's look at our cards here. A narrator outside of the story, there's no I, we, and me. So first person, if I, if Jack was in the story, he would say, I did this. I went up the um, beanstalk. So let's look in here. So there's no I, we, and me. So we know it can't be um, Jack telling the story. Oh, no, it's time. Good afternoon, staff and students. It is time for business. Okay. So at this time, at this time we have